welcome to the fortress of the prisoner's suffering and it's in its hamlet phase we just have got 32 migrants right now so the purpose of making this video is an alternate to tavern and an alternate to tavern and setting up a complex hypermesis system so when i say a complex hypermesis system normally when i say hypermesis it comes to mind a waterfall a waterfall or being near a waterfall makes dwarves exceptionally happy not salt water fresh water of waterfall so over here this is the main fortress these are individual temples 5 by 5 25 block dot with a hyper in its center these are as you can see specifically one workshop one type of workshop is in one room there is four craft drawers over here yeah four crafters four two cooks four breweries this is the dining room these are the bedrooms this is the medical bay the looms the clothiers the smelters and the individual workshops over here so everything is in so like a format you see now when i press z you will see almost everything is named as zone so rather than having a lot of dwarves come in and then request a guild hall you already have a guild hall set up because of this what happens is if i press u when they socialize they normally start leading demonstrations and all so yeah it works out in my favor and if children are there and they stay in the guild halls they gain skills better than them having be in the tavern and getting all drunk one more nice tip i would like to share with you is when you make a food stockpile make it custom stockpile in that you want all food but no seeds all foods and no seeds okay and then you go to finish goods select all then you go to type then you select none and then you select goblets after this you go to this button and then you select bins zero enter select done so now what happens is this guy makes goblets you see goblets are disabled so if this guy makes mugs they don't go here they go here because there is space or availability here so when they go to have a drink they will take the mug and they'll drink over there unlike having a bin from where they keep on searching mugs and they will feel like Oh, I don't have a mug. How fucking annoying. Don't want that. Alright, so that section is covered. So the zones and all are covered. This is the cavern below us. Pretty useless. But when I come below, this is a little complex there. So watch, you know, watch carefully. There are four grates and four flood gates. Grates are there so that creatures don't walk in from the flood gate. They will come here and climb up through the stairs and cause havoc. Already had a giant toad and a crocodile coming, harm all the dwarves. And then this region, it is not like a slope. It is a well dug out square. So in those you can place water wheels. One water wheel produces hundred energy. I have coupled it to millstones. Millstones are used to make dyes, dwarven wheat, sugar, and mill whatever products are there. Dyes are useful in strange moods normally. You can go for the dye industry, it's a good industry. Then, now watch carefully, I'll zoom in more. See this gear. This gear is coupled over here, and there is this pump. This pump will pump water from here, it goes down goes down and it it goes over here from here it will go to this pump now see we have dug below because the pump cannot dig from the adjoining block it needs to suck things from below okay so it goes and it pumps over here now here you see again we have dug below this pump will suck from this section it will pump here so there is water here above there is water here it will suction from here and deliver here 
take from here and deliver here go above this is the main mist chamber mist chamber floor where you get the water everywhere yeah so this thing pumps water and it goes to all the places all the places over here yes there are flood gates and there are grates when the flood gate opens when this flood gate opens water will come from here go here fall down here spray apparently spray because water falling on a net usually goes like push yeah and then it will fall here this is the drain room the water will go directly into the cavern from where we took now you will say how do the flood gates open and close so we have this uh, look a very smart creature came here and it got rammed by this mine cart now if i follow this mine cart let me reduce the fps as you can see it is going on some small squared blocks right now what happens when it walks goes on this small block hmm. now it's walking on this pressure plate how to make a pressure plate okay you go to trap section go to pressure plate go to mine cart starting from number weight number one to any weight just place it here use the right mechanism now i don't want to make it there because the dwarf if it comes there it's pretty much dead now suppose this is a pressure plate which is made i click on link plate go below and i have clicked here see cannot link to microlin flood gate because it is already linked to those two flood gates okay so before there was water i have linked this pressure plate to this two so when this mine cart at high speed goes over this plate these two are going to open now right now it has passed from this pressure plate so it will open any moment now apparently so this two open two 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 open right look below it spread here yes he feels content being near a waterfall content remembering relieved being near a waterfall content being near a waterfall yes now this one should fire right now is it firing no the mine cut has gone ahead it has already fired so now if you see there is a sequence where is all right this should open up now one now this all should start opening open close yeah so what is happening let me go to s sky mode now see mist is spraying over here here one two mist spread here so it's spraying in my entire fortress right now and water is continuously being pumped over here and there is this mine cart going at high velocities how do we make this takes a little time you do not want to make your mine cart track on the same floor you have your water mist because i tried it it ends up in a bad way it's a waste of effort <coughs> what i have done here is now see this section of the fort is isolated from the track whatever comes here it cannot enter the fort because of the new meta doors are currently unbreakable so if i go the surface there is five wind mills one wind mill produces 40 energy four five is a 20 200 energy we need 175 five wind mills running okay so how do you make a wind mill yeah construction machines make a wind mill okay when you make a wind mill machines gear assembly okay now in gear assembly there are two types make a vertical axle make a horizontal axle right so 
So horizontal is for the surface. So these are horizontal axles. There is a gear box, gear here. It goes down all the way from minus 2 to minus 53. Over here, these are all the axles. Now, how do you boost your minecart? You go to construction, machines, rollers. Be careful you don't have a minecart or list where there is a roller because it will instantly zoom in at very high speed. So you construct a roller, there is a direction and there is a speed setting depending on the timing. I have set it to high speed because it is a high speed track. If I construct a roller, you need a rope or a chain and you need a mechanism for that. This gear is attached to this roller. And now, how do you launch it, right? Okay, so let's recap. We have a track and on that track are pressure plates. Those pressure plates are linked to flood gates. When a minecart walks over, goes over this pressure plate, the flood gates link to this pressure plate open, thereby allowing water to flow in, flow on the net, spray down the net where your dwarfs are, then go down the drain and get drained to the cavern. The water in this water chamber is pumped by a pump stack from like this. It's being pumped into a room so that you have a stable water supply. If this system was continuous, there won't be sufficient water for spring in all the regions, more or less. That's why we have made it like this. Those are the things covered. Now you need to know how to launch a minecart and how to stop it. There is a stairway over here. You go up and you place a floor hatch. When you place a floor hatch, construction doors and hatches make a hatch like this okay on this hatch go to set minecart hauling routes click on this add a minecart stop and then you click over here then you go and select a minecart okay so you will have a minecart name the track you can name the stop itself let's name it launch pad 1 you want this to be red, you don't want your minecart filled up, it can slow it down. You don't want any stockpile linked. And you delete all the conditions. So, a dwarf will come, pick up the minecart and place on this floor edge. But before that, you want to link this. So that when a dwarf pulls this floor edge, it will open and the minecart falls below. As soon as it falls below, it will start spinning. But now, one day you decide to stop it. How do you stop it? You place a door on the track, like this door, you see? You can see this door, right? On this door, place a door. Before you place fire a minecart, okay? Place a door, then you link a lever. When you open, pull the lever, the door opens and the minecart can go. Now, if I want to stop it, If I want to stop this, let's see. It stopped. He is going to go and place. Now because I have pulled the launch lever, he will come and place the minecart. Now I want my minecart stopper lever to be pulled and I want him to drop the minecart. Holy shit, what's he doing? Now I'll drop it. Let's see. There we go. Now you learned how to drop a minecart on a firing pad. Others have made different designs. This is my design. Not my design. I learned it from others. Let's see. Twisted logic specifically. Don't want this skeleton to be touched. Now it keeps on firing.
we have covered this right yeah we have covered this now i will show you again the active powers and the blood gets been unlocked and locked again and there is your mist file throughout the fort everywhere why i'm using sk is because you can see those small gray rectangles with hatching in them that is the mist if i am right then this door should be feeling relieved is there any other doors there are many doors here content the blissful dining in the, in the not that content satisfied that is how you do it don't want angry doors food clothes mugs give them good rooms that's all give them more positive box or negative box that's it real now the reason for switching in sk is because i do not want them want this graphic lag you know although it does cause this cause you know like uh, muddy patches you can't do everything i hope i covered everything if there is anything drop a comment you can drop a message on reddit i hope you like this design i hope you implement it make a small design you want your mist spraying only in your temples you may want your mist spraying only in the taverns make a small design even i make mistakes i should have taken water from the river so rather than making a big fucking complicated water wheel system and all the water goes up slowly i could have just used the gravity like bum 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 water is coming down in the room that was my mistake but again i showed you pump stack i hope you like it thank you for watching you can check out other videos like uh, i don't know have fun have a nice time god bless you